Please tell us about your company. Our company is the WPT, Waste Paper Trades. So we are a waste paper trader. And we are mainly active uh, in Europe. So for us, 90% of our volume we sell domestically into the European market. So we buy and sell within Europe. And 10 to 15% is uh, export. What varieties of waste paper do you offer? We do all kinds of waste paper, from lower grades like mixed paper and OCC up to uh, hard whites, the, let's say the white grades, the better grades, everything. What is the scenario of waste paper market in European region? At the moment, to be honest, it's not really good. Um, because of the, the, the war between Russia and Ukraine, um, we, have, we are suffering from the high energy uh, prices. Uh, especially for the paper mills. Uh, the paper mills are uh, paying a lot more for the energy than they did before. So the production of finished paper is much higher than before. This of course is causing uh, high inflation. Products became more expensive. So all in all in the past six months prices went up so fast that it also led to much lower consumption. So what you see now is that the, the order position of the mills are getting worse by the day and they cannot sell the, sell the finished paper. What pricing trends in waste paper do you see? Will the price go up or down further? We think it will go down. Uh, main, main reason is uh, because the low demand for the finished paper. The reason why the, the price were already going down, but the reason why it bounced back a little bit is mainly because of the low supply. But that's obvious because the waste paper is stuck as finished paper in the warehouses of the paper mill. Uh, but as we see now for December and January, the paper mills will slow down the buying of waste paper, slow down the production, and they will sell the finished paper they will have in stock so in the coming three months three to four months we see a, we will see a lot more waste paper coming into the recycling system um, but less demand from the paper mills so as long as the inflation stays high as it is now it will be a big problem for all the paper mills in the whole. what is the waste shipment regulation being proposed by European Union that's a good question. Uh, I was at the, the paper conference in Rotterdam, the European paper conference uh, last week. It was a big uh, discussion point uh, for everyone. Uh, how it looks now is that the European Union is thinking of putting a ban, complete export ban on waste paper uh, within the coming five years. Um, we don't think it will happen, not as strict as they say now. However, uh, we have already seen with China, when they started with this, with the inspections, then came Indonesia, uh, I think last year or this year it was Malaysia, also pu putting an inspection procedure in place. We will see this much more in the future, uh, and with this inspection, uh, inspe with these inspections in place, we are pretty sure that uh, there won't be a complete export ban uh, after five years. Okay. What merits and demerits do you see for Indian paper market in context of this waste shipment regulation? For the uh, Indian mills, it could be a problem in the near future. Um, in India, you have a lot of smaller paper mills, um, and these mills may might not have the right uh, certificates to produce uh, waste paper or don't have the import license. And we expect that because of this uh, idea of an export ban, they will put all kinds of new legislation and and uh, and. Um, procedures in place uh, to prevent uh, suppliers from selling material into export to non-registered paper mills. Uh, this will also cost the mills money. So when you're a small paper mill in, for example, India, you might not have the financial power to be able to get the right certification, not uh, the right ESO certification like 14001. Uh, and yeah, that could lead uh, to a lot of uh, difficulties within uh, India for selling waste paper. What documentation and audit procedures are required for getting eligible to have waste shipments to India?
Um, it's not sure yet, of course, because we're not sure what's going to happen. But uh, the main advice for everybody is make sure uh, you have all the, the right documentation, right certificates. And I think we see this globally that when you are, uh, let's say, a green company, um, then you can survive. But when you are uh, maybe a smaller mill or you are not uh, sticking to the, the regulations, in the end, uh, you you will die as a, as a paper mill. So you need to develop yourself and become a green uh, green uh, company within the whole chain. Uh, I think we are in the early stage of this new regulation. Uh, it's not sure yet. What we know for sure is that you will need your import license, but of course most mills have an, in an import license, so that cannot be the, the issue. But they will uh, require all kinds of certificates. That, and these certificates are not only based on your production or your production plan or uh, the, the plan itself but uh, mainly related to how you treat the waste because when you buy waste materials and you put 100% in it's not that 100% comes out you will always in the production process you will lose a certain percentage so what do you do with the waste that really comes the actual waste that comes out of the machine you need to prove the authorities that you use this uh, uh, waste in the right way that you uh, bring it to an incineration plant or maybe an incineration plant uh, uh, for, uh, for your for it to, to, to run your machines uh, and it will be based probably on the co2 uh, emissions as European Union is committed to maintain the circular economy of the paper and they will not allow the waste paper to go beyond the peripheral of circular economy. Is there any way for Indian paper mills to utilize the waste paper through maintaining the circular economy led by EU or putting a facility to consume waste paper? That's actually a really good question, uh, but the answer is pretty simple. Uh, the idea of the European Union is the, uh, that when you don't ship out the waste paper, it's better for the environment because you use big vessels to ship uh, waste paper to a different country and in that country they produce it uh, to uh, make uh, finished paper. But when you look at it from the other side, when we uh, produce all of the waste paper, or use all of the waste paper in Europe, to produce finished paper there's not enough demand to sell all that finished paper so still the finished paper will be put into a container also to India or Southeast Asia so in the end the idea of the whole the, for, of the whole industry should be that you produce the finished paper where you need it uh, and now it looks like they want to you collect the waste paper in Europe so they want you to they want the waste paper to stay in Europe <laughs> but actually that's wrong. In circular economy, no paper goes out and no paper comes in. In this condition, how European companies will export the finished paper to other countries? If European Union wasn't able to consume the paper fully, would this waste go to the landfill? No. Yeah, uh, they have to. In the end they have to. Produce in the European Union I don't think they will let us uh, and let the industry. Stop this regulation, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good question. At the moment, there is, there are no benefits. Hmm. So that's why the the how what we expect and what uh, also the the different branch organizations uh, in Europe expect is that there will be some sort of new regulation, but not as strict as they uh, tell us now. And a complete ban seems to be impossible because, like you said, when you cannot uh, use the waste paper for the for the own production within Europe because you don't need it then of course it will end up in landfill or uh, incineration plants and that's a waste of fiber so in the end uh, that won't happen what do you suggest to Indian government regarding this proposed waste shipment regulation for the Indian government, it's of course uh, important that they push the European Union to stop this crazy idea. Um, but the, the problem, of course, is more on the European side, it's not on the Indian side. So, luckily, uh, 
I would say every country uh, in Europe has their own brands organizations uh, dealing with waste products and also the waste paper. So most of the work will come from um, the brands organizations uh, and even of course also the paper mills have to step in. Uh, it seems like because of a lobby of the paper mill this all this 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 problem started. Um, but also during the paper conference last week in, in Rotterdam uh, you saw that the paper mills did not see the advantage of it. Uh, they also not even fully understand the reason why you should put a ban in place because also for the paper mills it will cause a lot of problems because when there is also for the paper mills no alternative outside of Europe yeah, you live in a bubble and what happens when you live in a bubble in the end prices will drop the demand will drop uh, and it's not healthy for the industry don't you think under the EU's waste shipment regulation your supplier will take benefits out of this and try to export the waste paper in more free manner and at higher price now I would not see it as an, an advantage because uh, uh, it will cause a lot of problems also for the US suppliers um, because the, the US market is also increasing uh, the capacity so more waste paper will be used within the country itself so they are doing less export in the near future than they are doing now if Europe cannot ship to India anymore the demand for US material will only increase so there will be a fight between the domestic mills in 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 US um, between the mills in India and what happens then prices go up just shoot up like crazy and also it's then nobody's going to benefit from that you need a, a balanced market a world market and waste paper and finished paper it is a world market so you cannot exclude countries or continents it's, it's not good extremely short of price of waste paper may generate the market of agro residue which is a already a widely acceptable raw material in paper industries which could be threat to waste paper market how do you take this that is true but then uh, the problem you have can you get it a uh, simple example uh, is for example China you see uh, they, they have the import ban uh, so they need more uh, virgin material and I think it was Rishi making a calculation how much wood forest you need to uh, to produce enough uh, pulp virgin pulp to be able to produce as much uh, finished paper as they need and then you see that it's it's not realistic uh, so in the end you need the fiber and you uh, and you have for example elephant grass uh, there are mills that are using elephant grass for the production of uh, finished paper but also for that how much land do you need to produce enough elephant grass to compensate the waste paper it's also another realistic scenario is this waste shipment regulation mandatory or can be dissolved maybe you can compare to the plastic industry where now also the the, the plastic recyclers uh, need to of the the, the, the produce plastic producers need to put in uh, more recycled material into their products uh, than it did before um, so there could be that there will be more pressure on the uh, paper mills as well to have alternative ways to produce uh, finished paper but I don't see this happening in the coming five years could be maybe in 10 years or 15 15 years uh, but at the moment the, 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 the industry is not ready for it.